हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू डे फोर ऑफ मेंस समाधान 75 डेज प्रोग्राम सो टुडे विल बी स्टार्टिंग विथ जी एस फोर दैट इज एथिक्स पेपर सो टुडे द सब टॉपिक इज नॉर्मल एथिक्स दैट इज द कंटेंट वन ऑफ आवर एथिक्स बुक इफ यू गो थ्रू द कंटेंट्स यू विल कम टू नो फिथ दिस इज द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ओके सो टुडे द क्वेश्चन इज एथिक्स इज नोइंग द डिफरेंस बिटवीन वॉट यू हैव अ राइट टू डू and what is right to do discuss see you also need to know ki each of the ethics questions will be in 150 words and the case studies will be 250 words fine so this is a not a case study rather this is a question so we have to write within 150 words we need to follow the stipulations of upsc so the question is ethics is knowing the difference between what you have a right to do and what is right to do discuss so first of all you need to write what is ethics so ethics is a body of principles used to decide what behavior are right good and proper so it is basically a theory or a science which is used to decide what behavior is right it goes beyond what is legally right and addressed proper see some we know if something is legal we think what is legal is right but that is not the case with ethics anything which is legally right does not necessarily mean ki it is ethically right so it goes beyond doing what is legally right and addresses proper behavior so ethics always goes beyond law it always goes beyond law fine okay while the law provides clear responsibility and limits to officials or individuals ethics ensures best decisions to be made out okay so here we need to give an example for example in india martial law is acceptable but it is unethical because in martial law the power is given to the military okay the power is given to the military and when the power is given to the military the military becomes absolute it gets the absolute authority so it may lead to human rights violation so when it leads to human rights violation so it is very evident it will be unethical so that is one example yes there is a law but yes it is unethical it may lead to unethical uh, actions thus ethics guides an individual in not committing such acts so here ethics comes into play the subject of ethics tells us ki what we should not do if it is legally permitted also another example is religion see religion may give all guidelines for what is right every religion will have different perspectives okay but some of them may not be compatible to present day norms for example like a polygamy or a triple talaq but ethics tells us that such acts are not right okay some people also believe if something is legal then it is ethical also though it is not so for example racial discrimination was legal once but was never ethical for example uh, in modern history uh, there was a time when in africa racial discrimination was very much legal but it was never ethical fine so here ethics tells us about that particular dimension so here ethics is all about putting principles into action ethics tells us not to do what we have power to do we may have a power but ethics tells us what we should not do ethics tells us not to do things which we have right to do we may have a right we may have a right for example we have right to free speech article 19 it is our right but to use words judiciously so that it does not hurt others is what ethics teaches see we can't write here article 19 because it will look like a gs2 answer we have to make it look as a gs4 answer we have right to speech but that does not mean you can go and uh, in the name of speech you can tell anything right so we should use the words judicially or judiciously ethics tells us not to do what we want to do because an ethical person often chooses to do more than the law requires and less than the law allows so here what we are doing is we are giving dimensions of what we have to do because the question is 
right to do and what you have a right to do and what is right to do so three things i have used here that is what we have power to do what we have right to do and what we want to do okay so these three things i have mentioned here so ethics tells us whether we have power to do but we should not do whether we have any right to do but we should not do whether you want to do something but ethics tells us what exactly to do so that you get the right action or the moral action because our ethical persons often chooses to do more than the law requires and less than the law allows so this is the way you have to write a ethics answer because the main challenge in writing an ethics answer is 150 word limit because in 150 word limit you have to give what is the demand of the question what is asked in the question and also you need to also take care of the word limit this is very important because without if you breach the word limit you will not get the required marks we need to satisfy the demand of the question be in word limit and also we need to give examples examples is a must if you if you have to score marks in ethics you have to give examples it is a must so this is the way how you write a ethics answer so for uh, anyone who wants to join uh, the mentoring mains mentoring batch which will be continuing uh, this year for 3 months because every year there will be only once i conduct the mains batch so this is the time you can join anyone who wants any kind of other questions to write because it's not possible to give everything in youtube right so anyone who wants to have a proper writing session with proper word limit with proper connecting topics with answer enrichment even you want to if you want to talk to me and wants your paper to get evaluated you can simply uh, call here or talk to me here or you can visit my um, telegram channel or also you can visit my website all the information i have been mentioned in this particular telegram channel okay thank you